you're a snake killer, or a wood chopper, oof, or have a tendency to pull or slice the ball, or, or you just don't generate much speed in the golf swing. Then you're going to need to watch this video, Six Swing Essentials, number five, the role of the arm swing. Uh, theoretically, we shouldn't have to talk about the arm swing. If you've followed the first videos in my series, go back and watch them. Posture, grip, creating speed through a good throwing motion and getting consistent ball contact, then the arm swing should already be good. But we hear a lot about this takeaway, that takeaway, this position, that position. So I want to give you a very clear concept of what the role of the arms is during the golf swing. Three things. Number one, radius. So for the right hand golfer, the left arm at the start is lightly bent and relaxed. And if we maintain this position, until strike, then we are creating radius. The more distance we put the club head through, the more speed we can generate. It's geometry again. Number two, leverage. So for the right hand golfer again, the right arm acts like a hammer motion. Two levers, elbow and wrist, creating speed in the club head the same as a hammer motion. So in the golf swing, from the back view, lever number one, lever number two, creating speed through the contact with the ball. From the front view, lever number one, lever number two, creating speed through good leverage. And the third role of the arms in creating speed in the club head is through rotation. Think of a tennis player, Djokovic or a Federer, with the arm held in this rotation position and through impact with the ball, whoosh, arm rotation, arm rotation, arm rotation. Brings a lot of speed in the club head through strike, also in the golf swing, arm rotation through strike. So the role of the arms is to create radius, leverage and rotation. So what does it look like when we put all these things together? Well, to be brutally honest with you, every single swing is gonna look different. We're all built differently, we have different flexibilities, we have different lengths of arms, so every swing is going to look different. If you look at 100 tour player swings, you will see 100 different swings. So let's just talk about these three concepts, radius, leverage and rotation, where they come in the swing and their influences. Backswing first. If I've got the left arm again relaxed, then I'm creating radius at the start of the swing. There is also no manipulation of club face. It's not opening, it's not shutting. We're just holding radius at the start of the swing. When we get beyond the hip high point, of the swing, the right shoulder joint is closer to the club than the left shoulder joint, so the right arm has to start to bend. So we create first lever and hammer motion in the swing, and second lever, if you're not hanging on for dear life, the club weight should create the second lever of the right arm. In addition, as the right elbow starts to bend, it also starts to rotate. So we're getting the three speed elements on the backswing, radius, some rotation and leverage created. So we have the potential now through radius, rotation and leverage to throw this club down with a lot of speed and good directional control into the ball. And this is where a lot of golfers go wrong. So the snake killers and the wood choppers will go early losing the leverage, losing the rotation, losing the radius, losing directional control with very little speed. So the trick 
is to create, hold, and let it go. What did I talk about in the speed video? Throw the club. If we concentrate on the throwing motion of the club, I don't have to talk about when the levers come out, when we should rotate the arms, trying to keep the radius. It just happens. Throw the club, direct yourself to the ball with good grip and good posture. We got a good golf swing. I've got to be honest, I'm pretty excited now. We've covered five of the six swing essentials. We covered posture, grip, creating speed in the club, getting consistent ball striking. We've looked today at the role of the hands and arms. We just need the sixth element, the glue for it all, rhythm. So see you next video, enjoy, go practice, go look at my other videos if you haven't seen them already. See you soon.